One, two, three. Don't forget to do this work. Don't forget to let it hurt. How will you ever succeed if you don't even let it bleed? If love's supposed to bleed all day, if love's supposed to cause me pain, if love's supposed to suffocate, then I don't want to be loved. No, I don't want to be loved. I don't want to be loved that way. Yeah, let me tell you about Panti Sarei. Created in response to um, the way that young girls and women were being recruited and exploited and abused um, within Oakland um, and, and a very specific population, very becoming very vulnerable because of systems of oppression. Poverty makes you vulnerable. Being female makes you vulnerable. Coming from war and forced migration makes you vulnerable. Bantisri was created in response to a public health crisis and responding holistically. So not just an intervention, but also prevention. Some of the young women that I work with are adulting way before their adult years. Well, I think I'm more mature than most people are my age due to family, uh, extra family responsibilities. I think it's also the fact that my parents are first generation immigrants. When I was growing up, what I really have to do is to do tons of translation. All the parenting type of stuff that majority of the Americans' parents are doing. I'm the one who's actually doing it. I try my best to help as much as possible, especially after my English improved, because I think I was struggling very badly in the first, uh, I would say, three or four years. <laughs> the only words I really know how to say is like, okay and good. I just kind of know that my family we will have a lot of hardship since my mom she has stroke. I think in my second year of middle school, the fact that she wasn't there makes me realize that I can't rely on my parents. I have to grow fast enough so I can um, either support myself and also support my parents and younger sister. God, there you go. Now you're knocking them out. So it's either. I do nothing and my family just struggle all the time or I have to help. So there's really not much option for me. You're not talking to the person you know anymore? That's true. I mean, I, I was fine. Uh, my dad never really was present in my life. So my mom pretty much has been a single mom. She'll ask you to pick up things and I'll do them. And I'll like, eventually it just like turns into like, oh, this is just like something I have to do because um, she doesn't have anybody else to turn to. It's like, I'm not a good daughter if I don't do it. It feels really overwhelming. I know there's nobody else to help her. Um, so I do it out of guilt. You like take on the understanding of like what it means to be a mom and then it like suddenly breaks your heart a lot more and it's like she was just a girl too and um yeah that's why I can't stop. Out of all of the newer interns I'm the only African-American. It's so interesting just to see and be in the culture and hear problems that are actually very similar to my problems, not only just as an African-American, but also as a woman. The problems that are very parallel between Asian and African-Americans. You'll see a lot of fetishization. They'll strip you of your personality, of your accomplishments, and just to what you look like, what they perceive you to be. They push all of their views on you. Most of the time when guys approach me, it's not 
usually with like good intentions. I was continuously groomed by like older men in my life and I thought it was normal, I thought it was okay. Um, God, I was, one time I was like 13 and he was like 19 and it was like really traumatic. Like I never really had an idea of what a guy was supposed to do for you or like what is normal. My dad abused my mom so like it's not like, it was never a good example um, even when he was there. I was always a pretty responsible person because of my family circumstance, but I wasn't healthy at all. My dad didn't really have time to take care of me, and my mom actually verbally abused me a lot. I think I didn't know how a healthy relationship could even look like. I really like fighting back. In the anti-sexual assault sector, you can teach people how to fight back in different ways. I think fighting back is love-based. Replacing fear with skills, that's a really great way of fighting back. And the skill might be how to be in a healthy relationship or how to recognize red flags and avoid them. We have to pass that down to the next generation so that they know or don't normalize being treated badly. I think so, yeah. I always were pretty interested about sexual trafficking, so I kind of knew about it, but I never really knew that my mom had experienced that. She kind of like started telling me about what sexual trafficking was, and then she told me that she actually knew someone that has experienced that. She never told me that it was her. I just told her that I wanted to do like a mural about the story that she told me. And then when I told her that, she was like, that was actually my story. It was emotionally hard for me. But then after that, I feel like everyone was helping me and everyone was like making me feel like better. Escape is the title of the mural. Escape explored the history of a woman who was able to free herself from the human trafficking hold in her life. This mural speaks for all the people going through human trafficking, labor, or sex trafficking. Wow. 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 I'm so excited because I have witnessed Ellie's process throughout like the month. The mural was a way for Ellie herself to be more confident. Being a sister and a daughter can come with a lot of heavy responsibility. Here, you know, you, you can make chosen family. You can have sisterhood with women and girls that they're not from your family. They're not blood related, but they really get you and they love you and they have your back. <laughs> Sisterhood is something that goes beyond blood. It's like a connection that you have with other women, regardless of age, regardless of background. It's like supporting each other. It's really just a feeling of nurturing. It's a space where I could be comfortable and open and being okay with being vulnerable. When I come to Bantasere, I finally discovered what was womanhood and sisterhood. Don't you know how much, how much it means to me? We could go around and travel the seven seas. We could hang on land and play with all the sun. Don't you know how much it means to me? Isn't this so perfect and aren't we so worth it? Even nature thinks we're meant for love, you see. Holy.